Now it's no secret that DVO is made in the same factory as Suntour. And there's a video from Mo and Hannah walking you through the factory and it's pretty cool. But if you're a nerd, we're gonna compare what's the difference inside of these two forks. And this will be the last video of the Suntour Enduro Suspension Series. So let's start off with the simplest stuff. Now I'll flat out tell you the DVO fork is way better than the Suntour on the trail. But Suntour is the king of making affordable suspension that does its job. So I greatly applaud them in their efforts to make affordable stuff. It's super difficult to make good, cheap stuff and their stuff is good and cheap. And if you don't like the way your Duralux rides, I made an entire repair video since they would not give me the repair manual. All you have to do is drop lighter damper oil in it and it's an amazing fork. So this is the DVO fender and it's pretty dorky. And this is the Suntour fender and it works a little bit better, but you can count on them being made on the same piece of machinery, but they are wildly different. Let's get into the lower legs on these guys. So this is the Suntour and the DVO. Now the DVO fork is like $1,100 and the Suntour one's like 800. So DVO has more budget to make a gloss coat, having nicer paint on the lower legs. Both lower legs feature heat transferred stickers. So there is no scraping these logos off. That's personally my biggest complaint in these two forks. Now, if you watch Mo and Hannah's video, Undoubtedly, the DVO lower casting is made in the same machine, since the machine, I guess, costs millions of dollars to make castings. But as you can see, they're completely, completely different as far as design. Just because you use the same machine doesn't mean it's the same suspension. Now, DVO products are very well thought out, and the Suntour one, I'm sorry, it's not. So the axle on the Suntour Duralux is kind of a piece of crap, and the DVO one is very well thought out with a pinch bolt and a five millimeter axle, so you only need one wrench to put it on. The Suntour Duralux coming in at five pounds, 13 ounces. Now the Onyx comes in at five pounds, 10 ounces, but I can tell you the weight difference, you can't really feel it when you're riding. Now let's do a little investigating to try to find out where that extra weight is. The Duralux lower legs weigh two pounds, two ounces, and that many grams on the screen if you're a weight weenie. The Onyx lower legs are one ounce heavier. It does have quite a bit more features on the DVO fork, and I'm assuming it's a little bit stiffer with that burlier arch. Now getting into the crown steer unit, the Suntour has a hollow crown and a sticker associated with it, and it comes in at two pounds, 11 ounces and that's pretty darn heavy. So let's weigh the DVO one. The DVO comes in at two pounds, five ounces, so it's technically quite a bit lighter. But like I said before, this could be related to price. Maybe the Suntour uses cheaper stanchions. The CSU design of these two forks is very different again. Now I'm pretty nerdy, but I'm not super nerdy, so comment if you know more. The DVO Onyx features a massive bushing inside of it. Like it is the biggest lower leg bushing I have ever seen. And it does not have any channels in it. So whatever the benefit of that is. The Suntour has standard looking bushings in it. Just normal size with the little channels. This lower leg is a non oil bath and these bushings are absolutely massacred. Full disclaimer, this is a used fork. So potentially Suntour fork's not going to age as well as the DVO because of that dry system in it. Now let's get into the internals, the important part. So let's take a look at the Suntour air spring. It's a pretty high quality design featuring an aluminum piston on the top, a massive bottom out bumper making a huge negative air chamber. And all you'd have to do is replace a couple O-rings. So the DVO is the plastic white one, and it is a cheaper air spring. You have to replace that plastic piston during a heavy duty service and need some special tools to push that pin out. Now, the DVO one is definitely a cheaper design in a smaller negative air chamber, but DVO's got some really magic tricks to make their air spring feel 
far superior to the Suntour one on the trail. Now taking a look at the bottomless tokens, I'm very pleased that DVO copied Rock Chalk. It takes a cassette tool and they screw on. It's an absolute no brainer. The DVO Onyx takes up to four tokens and they've got such a good air spring, you may not need tokens. Taking a look at the Duralex, this is one of the biggest nightmares I've ever dealt with. So it's got three hard tokens clipped into this rod. And I'm not even sure what that lower thing is on the bottom because they don't have an instruction manual. So once again, DVO is way more thoughtful, has good instructions, and it's very simple. The Sun Tour kind of reminds me of ordering stuff from AliExpress. It works pretty darn good, but you gotta kind of figure out how to use it. Both forks feature a compression cartridge, fully sealing everything up, making a very convenient package to have multiple cartridges. As far as clicks go, who cares about clicks? The DVO has a much more usable range of compression and rebound. This Suntour has too slow of a rebound and the compression, it's pretty bad. Now I'm just guessing here because there's no information on the Suntour, but that's the base valve. It's got two shims, a compression needle, an IFP, and a couple ports that open and close with the high speed compression. And I can't feel the difference between one and five as far as compression on the Suntour. Now the Suntour, before it got serviced and after, the low speed compression, it just feels like a wall or it does nothing. Now this is the entire DVO assembly within that cartridge and it's wildly different than the Suntour. So their IP, their intellectual property is crazy different even though it's made under the same roof. Very fine machining going into this assembly. So I asked DVO, why do you still use a bladder when every single other damper on the market has moved to IFP? They said they did some blind ride tests and most people prefer a bladder if they do not know they're on it. I can tell you the damping is extremely good on the DVO, consistent and very adjustable and usable. Now I just recently full serviced the DVO 38. It has excellent instructions and it is super easy to service. The Suntour isn't hard to service, but they will not give you the repair manual. This needs to change. As far as the brand speaking, it was pretty difficult to get any answers out of Suntour. It is a massive corporation. When you're dealing with DVO, they actually care about the customer and your experience. Now all 38 millimeter stanchion forks are stiff and need the chunky terrain. And this is the Duralux once I put lighter damper oil in it. It's super impressive, but it does kind of fall apart on the blue flow trails once you have it all plush bucketed up. As for the DVO Onyx 38, it is literally the best balance fork I have ever rode. Let my friend borrow it right here. So you gotta click the video on the screen for the DVO Onyx experience.